Right, okie dokie then, back again. I've le I left it all as it was, I just put it over there. I left it all connected with the batteries in it, so the batteries are probably, de batteries are probably dead by now, because I left it all connected, but who knows, whatever. So, we're on the 5th of December now. Bloody hell, I wonder what we're gonna get for the 5th. I haven't looked, I haven't gone this far ahead. So, the 5th of December. Oh. We've got ourselves a little curl of um, red wire. I wonder what on earth this could be used for. A little bit of red wire. Hello there, red wire. How are you today? I'm all right. Good, good. Glad you're all right. Let me just check to make sure I turn that bloody microphone on. That's right, good. All right. Yes, yeah, so we've got a bit of red wire. So let's see why we've got some red wire. Let's not read that for day six. Um, let's bend over day six. So, this is what the little diagram looks like for day five, number five, the 5th of December. More complex circuits require wire connections. You will find the suitable wire behind the fifth door. Trim the wire pieces and remove the insulation on the ends to the length of about eight millimeter. A good way to strip the ends of wire is to cut around the insulation with a, with a sharp knife. Take care not to score the wire itself, as it can be e as it can easily break. A short length of wire has been added on top of the battery connection wires. <laughs> um, to act as a strain relief, as it really. Oh, so it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is. Um. Uh, to act as a. Uh, well, as these wires are delicate, the battery clip should always remain connected to prevent excessive wear on the connections. After finishing an experiment, the battery can be removed from the battery compartment. A simple switch can also be built using the wire. It consists of two bare wire pieces that can be moved easily with a slight gap between them. To make the switch, cut two centimetre long wire. Oh, sorry, cut two two centimetre long wire pieces, and completely remove the insulation. You can use your finger to pinch the two bare wires together, and create a closed circuit. Keep the end of one of the wires free to make it easier to create the connection. Every time the switch is triggered, you will hear a quiet crackling sound from the speaker yep we've got our 8 ohm speaker we've got our 1k resistor we've got our 3 volt battery and we've got our little switch in line rightio so it wants us to make a little this is what it wants us to do it wants us to do that so we've still got our it was a good job I left it in all the line I was going to take it all out but I think I won't I'll leave it all in line now um, and it wants us to do that so that's what we will do. It wants us to unwrap this wire. And we've got to make a switch. It wants us to put a strain relief on there. And to put a bit of a switch. So we can get a decent amount of wire. I can't imagine you needing this amount of wire to make a little, a little um, digital processed FM radio. The video hasn't got to be that quick today. Yesterday it had to be quite quick because uh, I had a lot of stuff to be doing. Anyway, how long? It wanted two centimeters, didn't it? Well, I'm not going to do it two centimeters. We'll do it. Um, we'll do it. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe it's two centimeters. I don't know. We'll do it about there. So we've got to go from there, it. Yeah, from there to there. Yeah. That will be long enough. And then we'll do another one. Cut two. Yeah, I'll do that one about there. Like that. And uh, what does it want us to do? Completely remove the insulation. So what it said, completely remove the insulation, and completely remove the insulation. Blimey, so it wants the insulation completely gone. Should have done that before I cut it off. That was a silly idea, wasn't it? Should have removed the insulation completely before I cut it off. No mind. I'm sure... Oh. I'm sure, um... Won't be that bad. So, I hope everyone's having a very dandy 
beginning of December. Uh, I hope it's been all right for everybody. How many of you have got advent calendars, by the way? I dare say there's quite a few of you. Um, actually, given the looking at my statistics, <laughs> a fair amount of my viewers are um, adults. So uh, there's probably not many of you out there that actually have an advent calendar. And you're all adults in India and America, which it would seem. Uh, not very many in England. There we go. So there's our two pieces of wire with our completely removed insulation. Now it wants us to put these two pieces of wire. One of them wants to be connected into X at the end here. In that one. So that's gone into there. And the other one it wants us to stick into 10C. So just below where the 10 is, so there is C. It's the one before 10 it wants us to go in, in there, 10C. And it wants us to stick the other end into the, into the other, right at the end of the C. Um, right at the end of the 10 is where it goes to 15. There's supposed to be a little gap there, but there's not quite a little gap. But it wants us to go into that one. Is it the one before? Okay, so we've got 15, 1, 1, there. 15, 1, and it's in that one. Right, okay. So these are probably a bit longer than they should need to be. Um, I could cut them down, I probably will cut them down after I've done this little bit. So what did it want us to do? I want us to, um, you can use the switch. You know what, I wonder if these are even connected properly. I might take a little bit more of the insulation off of these because I don't think these are actually making a connection. Because it didn't give us any noise yesterday, did it? And it's not giving us any noise now. But this little bit of paper is telling me it should have a bit of noise. So I think... It ain't quite right. That one needs to go into A. Might need to tin up these wires a little bit. A little bit more. Perhaps they're McTabbath. Oh the bloody hell, it's McTabbath! I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a single clue. Right, that's that one. Now, where did that one go? That one went in the end of Y, didn't it? Lovely. That's it. That goes in there like that. Lovely. Brilliant. Dunno, that ain't working. It's not making much of a noise, but we'll work that out in the end. Let's move on to tomorrow because I've got to go now. <laughs> Nearly bloody 10 minutes on this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, we'll find out what tomorrow is gonna bring. Oh.